Hello, my name is Howard Milano and today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, cylinder cam rod animation in FreeCAD. And it looks like something like this, where we have a rotating cylinder cam and a rod that follows along in the groove. Let's see how you do this in FreeCAD. I have a basic assembly here that can rotate an object. And I have another uh, tutorial that shows you how to set up an uh, assembly like this. So let's make sure that it rotates. <coughs> and yes, you can rotate a part if, if you hook it up to the arm there. It's the assembly. We have a uh, cylinder cam. I have another tutorial that shows you how to set up how to make this part, the cylinder cam. And it has a local coordinate system at the bottom so it can be hooked up to the assembly. And we have a basic rod a cylinder with a cap and the local coordinate system is at the very tip. Let's go back into the assembly and let's hook up the cylinder. So in assembly 4 Let's insert the cylinder and we are going to hook it up to the rotating local coordinate system. Okay, let's see if it works in assembly. Should rotate the cylinder. There we go. Changing the angle rotates the cylinder. Very nice. Now the rod, we want to insert it over here. The hemisphere goes here and the rod sticks out like this and it goes up and down with the rotating cylinder cam. Now the cylinder cam rotates in the XY plane here. The rod is going to go move up and down in the XZ plane. So to hook up the rod we need, we can't model this in the master sketch which is XY. So let's make a new sketch for the XZ plane so we can model the movement of the rod. So hide that in assembly, in assembly 4, create a new sketch, rod sketch. And before you do this, uh, wait, before I do this, I'll show you how to, how this is hooked up. It's LCS origin in the XY uh, plane. So we want to do the same origin, but the uh, XZ plane. So let's create that sketch again. And we're going to do it in the LCS origin and not XY but XZ and let's put the rod in place and how far away is it from the Z? Well the cylinder has a radius of 10 millimeters and we want to tuck the rod in a tiny little bit so let's make it 8 so the distance from there to there, let's make it 8. And how far away is it from the X? Well, the, remember the rod is going to move up and down, so you need a, a formula for this. So I made a distance formula. Let's put this here and you will understand the formula better. So depending on the angle, you want to move it from 5, the whole cylinder is 30, it starts at 5 and it goes to 25 for the location of the rod. And it's all depending on the angle, so half, half of the angle, half of the 360, you're going to go up, which is 5 plus a portion of 20, depending on the angle. And the other half, so 180 to 360, you're going to go 25 and down, so 25 minus a portion of 20 depending on angle. 
So let's get back to world sketch and set it up over here. So there to there distance it's variables what distance let's put the cylinder back and we can actually try it out see if it works so just imagine this being the rod and yes it goes up and down together with the movement of the cylinder cam very nice <coughs> all we have to do now is hook it up to the rod the rod to that that bar there so we need a local coordinate system let's hide that the local coordinate system from there to there okay let's in assembly in assembly 4 assembly create new local coordinate system and let's call it LCS rod and we want to hook it up to this thing here and I remember this on the bottom you can see where you are so we want to have the vertex vertex one and the edge one and we want to align it to ZX All right, let's see if we can insert the rod. So in assembly, in assembly four, insert the rod. Take that one in the parent assembly. We want to hook it up to rod. And if you go back and make the cylinder visible, you can see the rod is uh, positioned a little bit wrong. We want to switch it around and that is the Y plane. We can switch it like this and it sits inside the cylinder groove now. Looking good. Let's see if it works. So we'll do it by hand again. Looking very nice. Running very good. So I'll show you one more trick. While you have this up and you go back to variables, say you're still working on this formula. So if you change this, let's change it a little bit. Let's make it 360 minus angle. And you say you want angle there, okay. And you refresh and you try it out now. So you say, yes, it goes fine on the way up, and then it do, it's not fine over there. So there's something wrong with formula. You go back to the formula, and you change it. So this is really handy. You can keep this up and mess with the formula, and um, keep messing with it till it actually works. Keep refreshing every time you change it and yes now it works again so there you have it an animation of a cylinder cam and a rod in FreeCAD okay hope this helps thanks for watching